guys and welcome back this is your boy G Adams link how you not day welcome to another crazy video good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are doing okay well guys we have so much to discuss but firstly thank god it's friday i know you guys are looking to enjoy yourself tonight please be careful especially if you're in abuja you know there are security a lot already please just be careful well let's talk about the first human being on heart according to the book the Bible, the Quran, and the Jewish book, and other books as well, recognize that the first human being on heart is, was prophet Adam. And the second, Eve. Well, according to some scientists at uh, Presito University, they have reconstructed theory D model of how Adam looks. The first human being God created. And they said, this picture might look like the first human being, Adam. And if you check this picture, the first person that comes to your mind is the main actor of Past and Furious, Vin Diesel. It looks exactly like him. So these people are trying to tell us the first human being on heart was Vin Diesel. Not Vin Diesel, but it looks like Vin Diesel. Well, I don't know how they got this from, but I think scientists are contradicting themselves. They believe human beings are from ape, gorilla, precisely. So I don't know why they now are coming out saying that okay, the first human being on heart might look like this. That is Adam. Well, let me know exactly how you feel about that uh, new uh, discovery. They say mind too. It's not like they are actually really, really sure. They say mind B. Then uh, let's talk about Whiskey. You know, Whiskey made a remark recently over his upcoming album. And he hinted that it's going to feature someone they never thought he will ever feature and guess what well before we start talking about that let me play you the video guys yeah, 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 yeah. something yeah, yeah. something very very more important. love less ego bro yeah so i have two albums ready i have two albums ready i have one collab somebody somebody said that like we're not somebody somebody <laughs> somebody people said i'll never make a song with <laughs> Because they think we are not friends. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are very good. Mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. It's on my album too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is going to be something very special. I'm yeah. very excited for Afro Beats and where we are at. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Yadi Shopper. Big shout out to King Promise. Stoneboy. <laughs> Gomski, Manager, yeah, man. Bazzi, Kawaii, mm -hmm. Terry. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah, yeah. everything you guys do, yeah. everything you guys do yeah, is actually a part of what yeah. is actually making this. Afro this right. shit rise to the top. <clears throat> so don't stop. I appreciate each and every one of you. One love, big love to everyone. Thank you, man. So listen, he said he has two albums coming. And in one of all those albums, there is someone that he has featured. And many of you think they are not friends. And many of you think he will never make any music with that person. Honestly, let me be completely honest, guys. If you look into whiskey history when it comes to music who is the only person that comes to your mind you can't say Bonner boy they already have a song together you can't say tiwa savage they already have a song together who is Bonner? who is uh whiskey beefing with you can't say ricardo banks that he recently beef with they already had a song together then who again is whiskey beefing with or someone that we thought their, their whiskey is not friend with. It's not other than David O. It's not like nobody can tell me anything. I think it's David O. There's nobody on heart that we can put, like, we can easily say whiskey is not friends with this person. It's David O. It's David O. Like Bonner Boy, although Bonner Boy is coming out to blast with kids secretly, no, not directly, but it's David O, guys, honestly. I'm just going to go for David O. 
David don't I be that guy. May whiskey never work with. May they think say whiskey na enemy with. It's David do. There's no any other person again. And if they actually make a song together, I think, wow. I think it might be the biggest song coming from Niger for of this year. If that song in, in is in his album, less ego, more love. If that song is in his album. Then honestly, I think that's that's what will be the biggest song of that album. But Whiskey is trying, and he actually dropped another single again. I said yesterday, dropped another single, guys. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait to listen to the whole album. And then speaking of our music, let's talk about Rihanna and Thames. Rihanna just dropped the music for Black Panther. And honestly, when I listen to that music, the only person I can hear in that music is Thames. The title of the music is Lift Me Up. Sorry, you know all those kind of songs, we cannot play them. We can't because the, the, restriction, the restriction and the copyright is strong. That's all I can play, guys. Mm -hmm. And if you check the song without even being told, you will know that Thames wrote this song. That is the style, the exact style. The exact style Thames used to write a song. That is the exact style. So without being told or without even uh, Thames informing us that she is involved in that music, I can easily tell that Thames wrote that song. And Tem said, blessed to have written this song in honor of Chadwick Bosman, and even more blessed to hear the baddest Rihanna voice in it, in it to perfection. Rihanna quickly I replied and Rihanna said, is the pen for me, love to you, sister. Well, I'm happy, like I've said before, I'm happy with the way Thames is going with uh, vocal, with uh, trying as much as possible to bring back, you know, you know, just to bring more light into Afrobeat, to bring more popularity into Afrobeat. I can't wait to listen to Thames' album. I want her to drop her album. I believe that album will be packed. Honestly, really, really packed. And meanwhile, you guys need to go and check that single, man. You know. The single has a way of getting into your heart, your deep spirit, you know. I listen to it and I want to listen to it over and over and over again. You know, Black Panther is a movement. It's a movement, guys. It's a movement. Wakanda is like an it's like imaginary city in Africa that we still believe in. It doesn't exist, but because of the storyline and everything, we believe in Wakanda. We believe there's somewhere in this space that is called Wakanda. Hmm? But uh, the movie, so dope. Have you seen some clips? I don't know exactly when the movie will be out. Though. I think it has already dropped in the United States of America. So if you have a chance to watch it, go and watch it, guys. Then let's talk about singer Katy Perry. What's it? Well, this happened while she was performing. I don't understand, honestly. Is she a robot? You saw her, right? She was just starting to receive the uh, ovation, to receive the crowd, to receive the shout and everything. And one of her eyes was malfunctioning. She has to press, maybe he, she has a button here, beep, as like a robot, to press it and the eye go back and maybe it was I don't know, like, can I explain it? Is she a robot? Can somebody explain that to me? Is she a robot that she can just say, pim, open, pim, close, pim, open. Is she a robot? Well, I'm beginning to think eh, exactly what Kanye West is saying. There are some people who are genetically manufactured in the lab. I'm beginning to think, and I think I will look into that theory. Kanye West said it. 
the other time. And people have been saying it. That some of all those famous people, there is something to them that we do not understand. There is something to them that they don't understand. And there are people years ago that look exactly like them. They, they try to bring this uh, Illuminati stuff into it. But, well, let me know exactly how you feel about that. And uh, Rapa Future said he needs a wife. I need a motherfucking wife, man. So she can take care of me. Oh, fuck. Coming from a man who has about uh, eight baby mamas, eight kids, finally decided to tell you that he needs a wife. You know, he has done it all. And now he see a reason why he needs a wife. And the only reason is that he needs somebody to take care of him. Well, is that good enough? Is that a good enough reason to need a wife? If somebody that can take care of you. Everybody needs somebody that will pamper them now. Well, I pray some, uh, I pray he found a wife. But thank you guys for watching the boy, the Adam Slink. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.